Hello the internet, today I would like to show you how to use Cut Pen. It's a web designing platform which can help you to work on your project when you are on the move. Ok, what does it say on here? Cut Pen is a special development environment for front-end designers and developers. That is true. It's the best place to build and deploy a website. You can design and also deploy your website on here. Show off your work. And at the same time, if you have work to show to friends or mentors or maybe to your teachers, it will also create that opportunity and also to find inspirational projects. Let's move on to the next part. This is how people uh, develop different kinds of applications on code pane. So if you like to be inspired by others' work, it can also help you here. Also to learn by learning their codes, okay? So let's see some other projects. Look, different kind of projects and you just click and see how it is written. Which one is fancy? For instance, let's see this one. This is, it has some HTML over here, and this is CSS. It doesn't have any, any JavaScript anyway. So uh, this is how you check and learn different codes. And let's open also other, for instance, this one. This is the HTML part, the CSS part, the JavaScript part, and this is the output. So let's create our account and write, okay, this is how. And since I have been working with CodePen for many times, I know how to create uh, with a short method. So you don't have to just check, just go here, join CodePen for free. And my name is Washara, and uh, I call, I like to be called also Washara, doesn't matter. And you don't have to know my password, right? And I click over here. Why? Please, yes. Yes. Now I have created my account. So if you like to put your location, bio info, and other altern alternate links if you have, and if you like to be hired by companies, you can click yes. But this is for tutorial. I do not like to just populate the, the rest of the application. But it would be nice if you feel it, because if you are serious, uh, working on your project and to get employed somewhere just put avatar and also pull uh, fill this application and click this yes but for now just save and now it asked me to uh, follow the tour by this the code pain dot io but I would like to just do it by myself for yourself you may also follow the tour then we're done. This is how it looks like. Washara and this is let me give this one first code pen tutorial. Code pen tutorial. Over here you don't have to write this doc type HTML. You don't have to. Even it should know. If you hover, you can see, if you click, it shows you, you do not need a doc type on code pen. You just put here what you would normally put in the body. Only something which you put on the body, so I don't need this part. Yes, start from the body, okay? Even you don't have to write the body. Just write and p. I am writing 
on the HTML HTML panel. H1 called pen is awesome. Release awesome. If we like to no, this is supposed to be H1. So if I like to I like green. This is the SCSS. It's going to be color blue background yellow. It doesn't matter. And this is the place where you work on your JavaScript. And today I also like to show you how to use the different settings you can use if you like. Uh, normalize and also you can change the different text auto prefixer and there are also different libraries bootstrap bootstrap uh, for three foundation animate materialize okay so how about different JavaScript libraries I usually like to use uh, d3js now d3js is added in my project and how about if we like to also I have opened already here bootstrap 3 bootstrap 3 is added how about if we add also jQuery jQuery it's added this is how you add a different library to your project now I have Bootstrap, I have jQuery, I have D3JS. So that is nice. Uh, D3JS is a JavaScript library which you write like this, but you don't have to, it's not meant for that, that tutorial. And also you can change the view of this code pane by this. You click and there is editor view, detail view. If I, this is detail view, this is how it looks like. It shows me it was not viewed by anyone there's no comment so and again I will be back to the editor view and there's also full page view you will need to verify your email address to use full page view I didn't verify it so it doesn't show me so you have to verify for yourself let me back to editor view okay what else do we have in addition if you like to change the layout for instance you can write the HTML CSS and JavaScript over here and your output over be here just click over here I will have different layout different so this is very very handy to be honest very handy very handy one of the best platform which can help you to work on your project when you are on the move in addition to to put all your project you want in one place and it can help you to get a job to show your project to others and share on social medias i hope you enjoy this tutorial thank you so much for watching next time i will bring something else thank you so much